Hacker Earth has been at the forefront of enabling recruitment teams to effortlessly hire top developers. That's because we're constantly on the lookout for ways to simplify and streamline talent engagement and hiring. So we are very excited to announce the launch of our newest offering, the Smart Browser. We've built this advanced browser with the goal of strengthening the integrity of your assessments and to ensure that you can trust each and every candidate report that comes your way. With the Smart Browser, candidates will be required to attempt a test on a desktop application, which makes proctoring much more stringent than what's possible through a web browser. Let's take a look at how the new browser makes this happen. To enable the Smart Browser setting, simply select the option from the Test Proctoring section on the Test Overview page. Once the setting is enabled, every candidate you invite to take your test will only be able to attempt the test in the Smart Browser. You can see here that on enabling the Smart Browser, several other proctoring settings such as disabling copy-paste, restricting candidates to full screen, and log out on leaving the test interface are selected automatically. Here's how the candidate journey would be once the Smart Browser is enabled. Candidates are prompted to download the Smart Browser from the link in the test invite email. Once the browser is downloaded and installed, the candidate needs to click on the Start Test button on the Launch Test screen. This launches the Smart Proctoring Browser, prompts the candidate to close any flag processes, and changes to full screen mode straight away. Now, all the candidate needs to do is just sign in and attempt the test as usual. The following candidate actions will be prevented by the desktop application. Screen sharing the test window. Keeping other applications open during the test. Resizing the test window. Taking screenshots of the test window. Recording the test window. Making certain keystrokes that are listed among the restricted keystrokes. Viewing OS notifications. Running the test window within a virtual machine. And finally, usage of browser developer tools. Additionally, candidates will be shown a full screen warning if they try to resize the smart browser, exit full screen mode, or switch to another application. These actions will be treated as a tab switch and will be shown to you in the candidate report. We do want you to keep a few things in mind while you're setting up a test using the smart browser. If the smart browser is enabled for an assessment, the practice test for the assessment will also open in the smart browser. Further, existing features such as auto reminders, extending a test or resetting a test will still be applicable in the new browser. So what say, are you curious to try out the new smart browser? Then just head over to the link in the description and check it out straight away. We also love hearing from our customers, so please don't hesitate to leave any feedback that you might have. Happy hiring.